puck coming from Maneg. Maneg pinches it on the right wing side for Battleford. It's trying to find this loose puck. Portage trying to clear. Puck to the line, held in here, walking it. Allen, he scores! And Battleford strikes first at the 14, with 14.52 to go in the first period. It's Ben Allen with a shot through traffic that beats Curtis Chapman to the glove side, and the North Stars have a one to nothing lead. Well, and that's another puck battle down low, one inside Portage's end, and then the puck finds its way back up to Allen, and Trevor, how about that snapshot from Allen? A quick release, hard, low to the glove side, and beats Curtis Chapman just above the glove, and Battleford's like they did last night. Strike first in this hockey game, they lead 1-0. Lots of wire. Dwyer at the left point, back for Thiessen, right wing side, moves to the middle, Thiessen, drive from the right side, they score! Tipped in front, it looked like it was Dwyer on the shot by Tyens, and with just three seconds to go on the power play, the Terriers have erased a 1-0 deficit and have a 2-1 lead. On that, Pat, that shot, a hard one-time soft shot from the right side, just inside the circle, and not sure if this doesn't touch Martin or go off Martin's skates in the slot, as you can see him kind of surprised. Well, now playing it for McIsaac. McIsaac dropping off. There's Dwyer with a shot tip. They score! And the Terriers have tied the game. Chase Brakel in front on a deflection on a shot from the line by Mackenzie Dwyer. And just about halfway through the second period, the Portage Terriers find the goal and tie the game. Well, it seems like that's the kind of goal you're going to need to beat Grisbowski as a Nice shot from the point. Low, Brakel's able to touch it as it goes up. Chapman, Portage having a tough time trying to get out of the own zone. Good penalty killing here by Troy Guerin and Mackenzie Sinclair. Now look out, an indirect pass right in front and it scores! It's Brakel who gets the goal off the puck, off the stanchion in the left wing corner. And it's a 3-1 game as Brakel scores on the power play. What an unfortunate bounce there for Battlefords. And the Terriers take a two-goal lead. And for a good job to gain the zone and then keep the puck far away from any North Stars stick. And that play right at the end, Grzbowski has to be sharp to keep Porter, to keep the North Stars, excuse me, within reach. Barnstable tied up up against the boards there with Sitch, and Barnstable will find it now. Play to the left wing half ball for Enns. Up to the top of the point here, Thiessen back for Enns a drive. Missed the wide end wall, Karam, and they score. Walking in for the blue line, it's Mackenzie Dwyer, his second of the game, a power play goal. And Portage has a four to one lead, their third power play marker of the game. It's like almost like they, Know this rink is a great pass off the end boards, pops out to Dwyer beside the net, and Dwyer on a very sharp angle, angle beats Grisbowski. That one's in the back of the net, and Spager Dwyer's chipped it back to the left half wall here. Power play done as McIsaac's out of the box. Here's a chance down low, a chance there for Holinati. That stops up, rebound loose, they score! A rebound loose in front, and it's Connor Logan that bangs at home on a net front scramble and with 6.12 to go in period three, Battlefords is back in the game. It's a four to two hockey game. Well, and Logan's second goal of the tournament is he scored yesterday against the Penticton Vs and Trying to find Lamb. Here's Sitch, left wing side, a drive. Up, stop, rebound, chipped in, they score! Battlefords makes it a one goal game with just under five minutes to play in period three. It's Keaton Holinati in front and we've got ourselves a game. Well, I thought this might have got called down for a high stick in the slot, but on a tip in front, sits down, clean up a rebound and another ugly goal for Battlefords is put bodies to the net and I didn't even see. For Holinati a shot. Blocked in front as it goes loose to the line. Now to the front of the goal, and it's tipped on, and a save made there by Chapman. 15 seconds to go. That's by the defense. Working onto this now as ends on the backhand, and he'll put it into the empty goal and secure a Portage win. It got a little bit tense towards the end, but the Terriers are going to win their WCC opener. Just moments ago, Curtis Chapman makes a save. I don't even know if he saw that puck as it comes from the point is tipped. Hits his right pad with an open net behind him and a face-off at center. 
And now all of formality now is this a sent to the right wing corner. Dwyer there for that, wrapped it around the right wing boards, and that's gonna do it for this hockey game. The Portage Terriers are going to win their WCC opener, 5-3 the final over the Battleford's North Stars.